Hi and welcome to Hands-On Education. This video is about attacking castles in the Middle Ages. The first forts and castles were made from wood. Wood was cheap and easy to get hold of. One disadvantage, however, is that these forts and castles could easily catch fire. By the 12th century, most castles were built using stone. Although more expensive, stone could not catch fire and could be used to build a stronger castle. Built and designed specifically to keep out an enemy, how did the enemy attack a castle? Before attacking a castle, an army would first surround the building and ask the inhabitants inside to surrender without fighting. If they refused, they might try to take the castle by siege. This meant they would wait for those inside to run out of food and water, forcing them to surrender. A siege was expensive and could take a long time. It was quicker for the attacking army to fight the inhabitants inside the castle. Before the soldiers attacked the castle, they would first bombard the castle walls using large weapons like the trebuchet or mangonel to weaken its defences. The trebuchet was a really powerful weapon using a lever mechanism to catapult rocks weighing as much as 200 pounds through the air. A weight on the other end meant the rocks could be thrown with such a force they could knock down castle walls. These weapons were so big and heavy, they had to be assembled on site. Dead animals would be thrown over the castle walls in order to spread disease inside. Large rocks would also be thrown into the weakest parts of the castle building. If there was a moat, soldiers might throw rocks into the water to make a stone bridge which they could cross. If there was not a moat, soldiers could dig tunnels beneath the castle walls in order to weaken them. Once soldiers reached the main entrance, they would use a battering ram to break down the door. Which strategy of attack do you think was most effective? For your hands-on activity, make a catapult using a lever mechanism to throw small objects through the air. Experiment with different weights and materials to see which catapult is most effective. For more information about this activity and more activities related to castles, please go to handsoneducation.com Year 2 Castles I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we will see you soon. Bye.